Uh, hi, I'm Grace Fernandez and I'm in the class of 2023. But I've been a part of many clubs at Bartlett High School um, ever since ninth grade. I started out in the uh, Academy Ambassadors um, and that's pretty much just where you get to take the newer kids around the school and show them around and they have a friend and you guys are in the same lunch period. You guys just like pretty much become besties that way. Um, and then I also got my acceptance to Beta Club right after and before um, COVID had happened. Um, in 10th grade, I wasn't really a part of anything besides marching band. Um, I did marching band for two years and I was the section leader during 10th grade. And it was wild. <laughs> um, I will never forget the times that I ever had a band. Um, another clubs that I've been a part of, especially during my junior year, that's really when I started to kick up my academics. I became part of student council. I was the junior class representative of Beta Club. And I also was the president of French Club. Now this year as a senior, I'm still in Beta Club. Um, I don't hold a title. I'm still in student council. I'm in HOSA this year. I'm also a part of NHS and also yearbook. I've also been a part of yearbook as well this year. Oh, um, well right now I'm kind of undecided with college. Um, I just got an acceptance to Colorado School of Mines, which is a college obviously in Colorado. And I'm really thinking about going there, but I also have scholarships at uh, UT Martin and Memphis, University of Memphis, sorry. And I also have acceptance to Southwest. I haven't really picked where I want to stay, where I want to go, but I do want to major in biology, either general or pre-med, and I want to become a pediatric surgeon, so hopefully that's where I go. Um, my favorite high school memory starting in freshman year was with my uh, friends at Lent. It was just... <laughs> The energy was so chaotic just during lunch and it was so great just to have that in my, the middle of my day. I just, I miss having that so much. And it's not that I don't have it anymore. It's just whenever I was that young, I just like, I really just miss it. I wish I would have enjoyed it just a little more. But my senior year, probably working at the medical tent for St. Jude this year, I thought that was awesome because it like really got me to uh, see what it would be like to be in the medical field myself and I actually could see myself doing it and like that's also how I really know that I'm going to stick with my major is because I already love something and I'm not even completely in it yet. So I think the thing I'm gonna miss the most is walking through the school halls here just because like this is the one place where that happens. I don't think a lot of these kids realize that like after high school this will never happen again. Like you will never find as many chaotic energies or as many people in one place as you will in high school and that's something that I've learned to appreciate this year is just how many people are around me and like how they're doing and how I'm doing and how I can help them and how they're also helping me become a better person too. So I have all my English teachers that I've had for the most part. Um, I like truly adore them because they just made my writing so much better and that's a shout out to Miss Gear, Miss Elston and Miss Moss. Miss um, Gear was my freshman English teacher, Miss Elston was my yearbook and my English AP teacher my uh, junior year and Miss Moss is my current English teacher. They've just really helped me dive deep into literature as well as understanding it, the meaning of the work as a whole. <laughs> your happiness is intertwined with your outlook on life. Now I interpret that to mean like your perception is like how your happiness is going to be. If you think you're sad, you're going to be sad. If you think that you're never gonna be able to like do what you wanna do, of course not because you're already doubting yourself before it happens. I found that on a fortune cookie at the park and I've kept it in the back of my phone ever since. And every day I remind myself that, and every day life gets a little easier.